Greetings, I'm Sabine Glory, and welcome to part 17 of my playthrough of Age of Wonders 4, playing as Ratkin with Betty Lifetaker, Chaos Princess, as the leader. And last time out, Betty and her hero Blister, I think, Blister. Yes, Blister the Guardian. Uh, defeated three armies, or two and a bit armies, of Arena the Golden. So the plan is to go and finish off this army as well. And then down here, uh, we've got hopefully just those three forces there, but we'll go and lay siege to Rivergate with our two armies. These guys coming in as support. But let's start up here. I want to do a bit of reorganization. <laughs> what, I, what do I want to do? What have you got? These guys are worth having. But you know, to be honest, I'm not going to actually switch anything over. We're just going to go in and attack altogether. So, don't need that. You move up to here. And then Betty, come around attack them. They've got three tier two units this time. No hero. Looks like they're up in a little hill. Which they're running down from. Right. Betty, where's the other forces up there? Right. You get over here. You into there. You'll come in from the flank. You'll sit in sort of behind. Let's cast that right now on yourself. And get Betty in behind his archers in there. You're going to revitalize yourself. Okay. Everyone into defensive mode. It's always somebody missed. Right, in the tunnel. Go for my nymphs. Oh, they've got a lot of support units. I thought they had... Oh, I suppose that's their tier 2 units. Yeah. Right, let's see. Let's have... Um, Not that. That does friendly fire damage to friends, but this actually sets them alight. They've got fire resistance. These guys don't. So I'll attack them. Okay, you step up. As well, you're getting in there eventually. You target them as well. And 
Betty can just about take them out. But you can do that. That was pretty good. Now you can kill them. Almost. You can just shoot at them. I think we'll just bring you in here. You can ward. Keep me at the back, away from their archers. Try and kill that unit again. And again, we miss. So, I guess then it's these guys got the business. You take that one. Right, uh, no then, who's still to move or do something? Oh, you, you can't reach anybody. Well, you can restore hit points. Cast it on our nymphs, just in case. Looks like our nymphs are safe for now. Nice of them to move into that burning hex. And just about survived. Let's get you into the will do. You can attack them, you should be able to kill them. <laughs> Let's send you around there. Shoot them. And you target those guys. What's the chances of you getting a better result? Let's bring you around behind. Where is... there's Betty there. If we brought you forward one hex, almost take them out. Yeah. Huh. Well, if you didn't miss, you'd almost take them out. Again, I think we need you to ward. Not that that's going to help much. to just try and pull you away from there because they can do a retaliate or a attack of opportunity. We'll bring you around in here. You could try and seduce them. Yeah, you're not going to kill them. You may as well try and seduce them, but we, before we do that, can I kill anybody with this? Yes. Kill them. 
Right, and as I said, try and seduce them. They resisted. Yeah, you just shoot them. Okay, done. Oh, I just noticed that my units went into shield wall there. So if you don't... Yeah, I remember reading that now. Uh, yeah, they just automatically, automatically go into defensive mode. Right. Try your magic bolts there. <laughs> the red foe. Come forward, just do what you can. Can you kill them now? Not quite. Could you? Yes. I don't want you up in there though. Let's get you around in behind there. Finish it. And we may, might be able to take out the other one. No, we're not letting you go this time. Um, we might be able to take the other one out with our archers. No, you need to go through the burning hex. But it's worth it. Well, it would have been if you'd managed to actually hit them. Okay, you come forward. What's the message there? Come up there as well, and we've got a spell, ignite, should be enough. There we go. And we've also got a dominated unit again. Good stuff. Right. Let's carry on then. Okay. What else do we have to do? Hero leveled up. Blister the Guardian. Ten percent damage. I think we're going to go with fighting one. Yeah, we don't use battle magic. We'll take fighting one for the extra damage. Confirm. And Unlock a signature skill. Hmm, assassinate. Dark ritual. Uh, enemies in the one hex radius sustain damage. All corpses in the one hex radius turn into decaying zombie units. Take assassinate. Well, now let's go for Dark Ritual. Yeah, Dark Ritual. Um, we've not gained any equipment, but yeah, I like the notion of having zombie units leveling up, uh, rising up. Leveling up is Betty uh, Life Taker. 
You are focusing on battle magic. Magecraft 2. Gain up to 10% accuracy. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to go with Frost Evoker. Ten percent accuracy. No, let's take this. And we're done. And Daffa died, of course. So what it means for a hundred gold. Vicious killer. Robe of resistance. And we will sell the means. I feel she would probably can't use either of those with who we have at the moment at least. But I'm going to sell your remains as well. And if we go back to Blink, not Blink, Blister. of resistance is no particular good. You can't use a nightmare mount. Pity. Yeah, no, we need to keep what you've got. So, nothing for you. How about Betty? You've got an Evoker's Robe. Magic attacks deal plus 20% damage, so keep that rather than have the Robe of Resistance. Yeah, you're keeping that. Who else do we have? Parseval. You've already got a bow. And you have a mount, but you could take a Nightmare. Yeah. Jump on the horse. What do you have? You've yes, a bow that you have. Nothing different. You don't have any armor. We're a robe of resistance. No, I think I like you with the bow. You've done well with it. Right. And what do you have, Betty? Warg, tier one. What's uh, this Warg's also tier one? Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Blister, could you? No, you can't mount anything. Don't think. A bore or a work, no. Right, done and done. Mount Ward, you produced a bathhouse. So you're looking good. Town Hall. No, not from the moment. How about the item forge? Hmm. Turn. Uh, only one turn three spawn driller. Hopefully, I never need that. No, not interested in that. I don't think. Wizard Tower Channeling Chamber. I think that's what we're going for. Yeah. Get the extra magic ability. 
Eventually Antum produced a Grand Wharf. How about then? I was hoping it would be something that would give me some draft ability, uh, draft income, but unfortunately not. Not worrying about defence. I guess it's the estate hall then. Mana obelisk. Mana income's alright. Gold income's good. Mm. Tavern. Stability's alright just now. Let's go for the estate hall and get some growth going. Alrighty. Where are my units? Here they are. You come down. Stand on... No, stand in here. You don't start the siege. Bring you up. And you can go and start the siege. Oh, you don't have a hero. Oh, okay. I don't think I can recruit any more heroes. I think three's my limit. So, try this again then. Start the siege. And siege projects. What have they got? Stone walls. And palisade walls. Ballista towers. Arcane battlements. And caltrops. Damages the battlement defence structure of the city. Okay, we've got plenty of money. Yeah, let's do that. I'll have the onagers as well. We're not um, towers, I don't think. Sabotage support. I think I want to undermine the walls rather than sabotage support. Right. Leave it at that. And we'll see how we get on. Um, you should be down there in a turn two. Yeah, you'll need three turns. It looks like. Well, maybe if you get in within range, if you get to there, that might be good enough. Let's let's end the turn. Yeah, what be? Billerton, you're a bit far away, I suppose. Uh, I was thinking that I should maybe have called you into the battles. I'll just leave you for the moment. Treaty has expired. Dawn Spear. Uh, yeah, that happened with Bulletin. They lost their vassalage status. I want to get them to attack now. No, I'm saving up these points for the extra city capacity. So I'll just leave you. Spell ready to cast now. What do we have? Wayfinder enchantment still. Summon the regulars. No. Summon lesser magma spirit. 
Yes. Summon that right in here. Thank you. Now you. Yeah, we've got space in this army. If you head up to go and meet them, Betty, we want you down and around there, I think. Okay, and end the turn again, I suppose. Day 55 dawns. A revel without a cause. Your steward insisted you hold a formal feast for your distinguished subjects. Unsurprisingly, the event is tedious and insipid. Guests wearing suffocating dresses and awkward robes sit at long tables, solemnly chewing bland meals. Troubadours play dull tunes reserved for refined banquets, per tradition. A dancing bear has fallen asleep. A conjurer fruitlessly tries to retrieve his doves from the Great Hall's rafters. Someone sneezes, then promptly apologises. It has fallen to you to add spice to this dreadful feast. How will you proceed? I can share my best wines and ales. Lose 248 gold, which is okay. Four strength, chaos affinity check. 90% success, contagious merriment spread, spreads to all cities within your realm. Chaos Boon, all cities gain 21 stability for 6 turns. Magically set the curtains ablaze. I lose 250 mana. 8 strength, Chaos finish check. Yeah. I'm not really too bothered about this. This is all really just um, city stability. Mount World would gain a population, but no. We're going to share the best wines and ales. It's only money and the booze. Hooray! Contagious merriment spreads to all my cities. A rivalry with you ended. Excellent. Uh, yeah, that's because you're no longer infuriated. Wizards bond. What does it cost me? 170 gold. Which I do not have now, but we'll come back to that. What items do you have? A restful leg. All units in the army heal 5 hit points every world map turn. Plus 2 defense signal status. Play proof ages. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't trade it. How about then if I give you some, I sell you some of my items. Base of smiting for gold. And the great sword. Hang on, we've got or how about a warg for gold? Hundred and sixty one. Oh, and Staff of Radiance. And now, I'm not quite there. Let's take the restful leg. Oh, I thought it was 80, you said. 
Excuse me. And I suppose this will be 120 as well. Right. Yeah, take that. And... Plus two defense. And you, I was going to give that to Blister, but Blister can't use a shield because she, he, it has two-handed weapon. Yeah, okay. Goodbye. Thank you for your... Uh, uh, for whatever it was you did. Um, for your trade. Parseval. Reinforced armor of hexing. You take that and be thankful and let's get back to uh, Betty you've already got this this unit inflicts increased morale penalties when killing an enemy oh well, you can actually use that as well as the ring how many did we get two of those I guess we did uh, no, we need to confirm that. Right, which means we need to come back to Blister. I missed that. We need to confirm that. Okay. Negotiation succeeded, so bonded vassalage with Dawn Spear. And their armies are hopefully heading over to Quentin. Uh, but it's time for a break, so we'll do that now, we'll pick this up again next time out, when hopefully we will be attacking. Well, you can recruit units while you're under siege. Well, that's okay, we've got these two armies coming in. Um, so, yes, thanks very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers!